folks. Oh, hang on. That was good. Oh, thank God. Uh, the Wii U just gamepad that I have is disconnected from the console. I thought we were about to lose the second one. Oh my God. Give me a heart attack. We're okay. Jesus. It's dying. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me lower the audio. Lower the audio. Can you hear me okay? You can barely hear me. Uh, is that, that any better? That's good. Hey, how's it going, folks? Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it like that just for a moment as we just give people a chance to hop on in the stream. How you all doing? Hope everyone's having a good week. Apologies for the slightly earlier start to the stream today. Uh, just have to adjust the schedule a little, but it's all good. We're still live. Still gonna play for a good few hours tonight. Have you seen the Zelda gameplay? I have not yet. I'm gonna watch it a little later. Uh, very excited to play it though when it fully releases. Be a good time. Yeah, but how's everyone week going? Everyone's week going, even. How y'all doing? Good morning from Canada. Hello. Where's the VTuber model, Dan? <laughs> oh, just, just straight to the point. It's like, when's that happening? Uh, there's a preview of that model on, uh, Vox Akuma's channel. Uh... In case you missed it before, we did a podcast together, which was debuted, um, but the VTuber stream, I'm going to just say this now, and this is going to scare you even more, right? If you haven't checked my Twitter, we have unveiled a, a VTuber model, and the stream for that is happening not on April Fool's Day, gang. It's this Thursday. So now you're really worried. There's a different stream planned April Fool's Day. It's not then. It's not then. <laughs> so, just to give you guys a little notice. It's not blipping uh, the game, by the way, is it? No, it's not. It's good. But yes, uh, that's going to be happening on Thursday. Is this should be fun? This should be. I hope you're all excited. <laughs> you can just see blind panic. First Daisy now in this. Yeah, well, that that will be happening on Thursday stream. It's not April Fool's. There, there is a. There is a different stream for April Fools that I think you'll all be quite excited for. Might have to do... Nah, you know, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. Unfollowed. <laughs> it's finally gonna be time to play Fortnite this this uh, this Saturday, you know? I'm just saying. It's fi Fortnite's finally gonna happen. Nothing's gonna interrupt it this time. Oh, Jesus. Is it cosplay? As I said on that stream, it will be sometime this year. It takes time. It takes time. But bear with me. It will happen this year. But speaking of, in the meanwhile, uh, let me let me give you uh, a little heads up here. There is now a Daisy emote, unfortunately, available on this Twitch channel. <laughs> that some of you might spot. Uh, I actually redid some of the emotes. Um, that you so you might see them uh, floating about. Uh, thank you as ever to Cat for doing a bunch of these. Um, and just give you a little rundown because there's new follower emotes too. Um, because I, we did this before and we tried it before, where with the follower emotes, um, the problem was is I want to make some of the more like kind of common emotes follower emotes. But the problem was without with the way Twitch works, you couldn't use them literally anywhere else. They'd only be usable on this channel. They changed that because it was stupid, and you can now use them. Uh, so the follower emotes are redone. Everyone can laugh as the I want die now. I give you the cupcake. You get the Drift King crown, and we kept feeding and hugging there. Um, I hope I hope people enjoy those. Uh, just it's nice to have people to just be able to use kind of a few of them. 
Uh, and because of because we did that, I was able to clear some other spaces um, in the emotes. In particular, there is a hee-ho emote uh, for Twitch subs. And there is the IRL RT game pog face emote, which is horrendous. <laughs> it's so cursed, but you now have like IRL pog. Uh, so you can use that now too. Uh, I hope people enjoy the new emotes. We swapped a few about as well. Uh, Crumpet is now a sub emote, and I put God as the tier tree. Felt like it was more appropriate there. Felt that was more appropriate. So we just swapped them about a bit. We tried to cram in as many of them as we can. Like, literally, like, across the board, like, it's like, what, five follow emotes, 60 sub emotes? Three animated ones. I still need two more of those. There's, like, the tier emotes and the bit emotes as well. Like, we've really tried to cram in as many as we possibly can. Uh, there's, like, I think it's 88 emotes if you have access to them all. <laughs> It's a, a, a stupid amount, but it's nice to have them, you know, and like, I kind of just want to provide them for folks. I hope people enjoy them, get good mileage out of them. Oh yeah, I wanted, wanted to mention that before we start ending the day. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention... The Wii U is dead now! The eShop has formally closed, so all those games you loved on the prototype from the Nintendo Switch, you can't download them anymore, because Nintendo hates you! Um, so I thought, in the spirit of things, we're gonna check out a Wii U game that I have actually not played. Um, uh, that I hastily downloaded from the Nintendo eShop, like, I think literally yesterday, uh, before it all closed. Uh, that is Wii Party U. It's the sequel, to, of course, to Wii Party on Nintendo Wii, but more features. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to capture all this as well, because, um... Yeah, here's the other thing. It turns out Wii U gamepads also die. Um, and my other... my regular Wii U gamepad is now dead. It doesn't connect to the Wii U anymore. Uh, the only reason we've actually been able to stream this is that for some reason, uh, Josephine, aka Cake Jumper, had a second Wii U gamepad that she just happened to come across and I've just kind of borrowed that off of her uh, is the only reason we've been able to play it today so thanks Cake Jumper there, appreciate it doesn't it charge? it does charge, it just is physically unable to connect with the Wii U console is the problem Nintendo really hated this console like, they, they, I feel like they tried to do everything wrong that they possibly could to ensure, to just ensure that it flopped. Even like the name, like, the, like most people think like, oh, it's like an accessory for Wii. You could have just called it the Wii too. It would have done so much better. This poor console. There's a bunch of games that I just held hostage on it now. Uh, that you're not gonna be able to get. Prices are probably gonna skyrocket now that the eShop is getting closed. The system itself has been recently reported by several people online to actually just not even start up. So it's not just the gamepad. Oh, that's horrific. Why? <laughs> I have my Game Boy Color from, like, the 90s. And that still starts fine. Like, this is only 10 years old. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's play it up. Give this a go. We can do a TV party. House party. Turn your room into a video game playground or gamepad party. Count another player one on the Wii U gamepad. Okay, well, this one we're actually not going to be able to stream whatsoever, I think. Uh, I'm assuming this will be locked just to the smaller screen I have. What suggestions? Okay, I'm going to find the perfect game for you. Alright, let's get started. First, I need to know how many players are going to be joining in on the party today. Oh, okay, and how many people are ordering, like, the Domino's Extra Large? Meatball pizza. Just one. Oh, okay. Hang on. I, I still need two controllers. Um, hang on. Let me... Find it. No. <laughs> 
This is your first time here. Excellent tonight. Just the thing. How about a basic board game like Highway Rollers? You'll get a chance to play tons of fun mini games. God only knows you need it, because you must be feeling lonely. You know, let's take a suggestion. Highway Rollers. Throw your dice in the air, make a run down the highway, and highway rolls. In this board game, you're pl place in a mini game that determines the number of dice you get to roll. One Phil, thank you for the 1500 bits. Did you manage to get the games you want for both the Wii U and 3DS before their death? The thing is, I think I have everything, but I absolutely forgot something. And that's a good, that's like the damn and, like, that, that's the unfortunate, like, just pain of all this for everyone. Anyone who, like, got tried to get all the games that they wanted before it closed, you have forgotten something and you could no longer get it. It's just shit. You've all forgotten something. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we have the, the me like pain me again. Of course we do, because we're on Wii U. I feel like... I feel like we'll go I Want Die. Pop them in here. We have like cursed selection of me's here. Right. Let's send them on in. This is like original I Want Die too, so his mount's in like the wrong place and everything. I haven't seen him in a while. Opponent skill level. Uh, I oh, I was gonna I was gonna set one to like like beginner, one to intermediate, one to advanced. I I like it when you have like the different ones. Let's go. Let's go expert level AI. Let's go from. Does that? Well, that changes all of them every time I do this, doesn't it? Just shuffles them. Okay. Let's try start. Grab a Wii remote and get playing. Apparently I need the gamepad too. I'm not really sure what for yet. We'll figure it out as we go along. Look at the highway rollers. The long board. Look at the highway rollers. This game mainly uses Wii remotes. In highway rollers, you get to throw dice to move forward along a zigzag highway above the water. The first player to reach the goal is the champion. All players compete in the minigame at the start of every round. The number of dice you get to roll to move ahead all depends on how you place in the minigame. The best player win. Okay, round one. Play for order. It's like it's like not quite Mario Party. Let's play. Really is just not quite Mario Party. Like it's the same. I think this is an exact mini game from Mario Party too. I have like a real awful version of Mario Party on Wii. We might play that at some point too. I don't know if you remember Mario Party 10. It's a really bad one. It's a really rough version of the game. We might try that at some point. I've had like old Wii games and shout like that on the brain lately. Cursed and bad. And I think it's the worst received Mario Party ever, is the Wii U one. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty bad. Is the car in that one? The car is in that one, yeah. Yeah, I got a punch. Demonstration. Oh, you gotta catch the watermelon, okay. Expert level AI, I already made a mistake. I gotta stop smack talking him. Why am I not why am I not catching them? <laughs> okay, you got you gotta press it very early. Don't think we're winning this first one. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take I'll take joint last. It's a rhythm game in disguise, well that's the problem. Do a tiebreaker roll off to determine final positions. I'll take it. Yeah, I gotta not talk smack on the AI. I guess that's my problem already. Good job everyone. Jillian will go first, Massimo will go second, I want die will go third. Irene will go last. 
You get to roll 10 dice. Oh, okay, so it's just position here. You get more dice as well. Just massive roll. Like, all one. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Faces left 301. Okay, so... They get... They get five more rolls like that, the game's over. This might be a very short game. Massimo's turn. Literal cheating AI. Do you think if you set the difficulty higher up for the AI, they're just like, yeah, it's just like a weighted dice that, that, that they throw. <laughs> just straight up. He said it like like easy level AI, it's like it's all just ones and they forgot to paint anything else on the dice. I, I don't really have many dice to work with here. Actually an alarmingly high roll considering. Almost as high as it could have been. Hey, how's it going? Very sad to see the Wii U go. Well, it's okay. We get to send it off, you know? Like, these games are no longer available. So now we got to play them to, like, document them. So this, this, like, you're watching the History Channel now. That's what this is. Oh, this is straight up plus 10. That's pretty good. You're gonna go ice road trucking next. I don't I don't know what that is. Put together legs, torsos, and heads to assemble as many robots as you can. One point for multicolored robot, three points for single colored, and five for golden. Okay. Build robot. Start! Gimme give, give me these parts. I The green head. Oh, I'm already missing the golden ones, aren't I? Why, why am I going for purple? Give me those legs. Give me, give me a gold hat, please. Finish. Okay, never mind. Uh, I've just straight up lost. Massimo is doing remarkably well. Look at this chat ass me with his butt chin. He's a massive gamer. Now you can take the Wii remote to spin the dice. Go on, give it a try and get rolling. I'd like to actually just mention it. <laughs> this is very funny. I haven't even been able to play this, right? I was not able to play this game without the Wii U gamepad, right? You want to see what the Wii U gamepad is currently saying? I'm going to post this in the Discord. Just while everyone's making their turns. Let me, let me bring this on up. Dude, I... How did I even do it like this? Oh, that's an image. This is... I, I couldn't launch this game without this gamepad working. Like, I f it physically wouldn't start. And this is all it displays. So pointless. It's so pointless. Like, they, te they, they just didn't know what to do with their own console. I can't look at the TV already. I'm looking. 
throw it with the might of Zeus. There we go. Uh, that is not a good roll. <laughs> but unfortunately, like, dodged all of the lucky spaces that would have helped us. They could have just put an overhead map or something, but no, just look at the game. Like, they could have. They could have put, like, spaces left. Or, like, here's the turn order. Yo, know, like, anything. It's, it's literally nothing. <laughs> It's very sad. I've heard a 1 versus Rivals minigame. You get to roll 5 dice and move ahead if you win this minigame. Massive I Won't Die and Irina win the minigame, they'll get to roll 2 dice and move ahead. Oh, wait, no, this is what it's for. Oh my god, it's displaying it on the gamepad. It's an identical screen to what's on the TV. The screen is literally the same between the two of them now. It is actually displaying though. There's, there's literally no difference between the two. Start. Oh, would you just? We're just zooming. I mean, they. They can just see us if they look at the TV. Oh, okay, we're trying to confuse them. That's what it is. Finish. Well, mini game's over now. I'm glad we had the technology that only the Wii U gamepad pad could provide for that round. Okay, it now just says look at the TV again. Away they go. Logan, thank you for your thousand bits. Hey, Dan, I spent about a thousand dollars on my 3DS during the last week of the eShop. New anyway, I'm in Crippling Debt. Also bought a needy streamer game because I can definitely fix it. Uh, good luck. Good luck. I don't think that's gonna work. Are oh, you rolled matching numbers? Get the goal even further. What do I, the last game on Wii U actually was? It was probably like a Just Dance game or something, wasn't it? Always tends to be Just Dance. Question is, what year did it get up to? Hop on a pogo stick and ram into opponents to push them outside the playing area. Sure. The last Wii game was Just Dance 2. Yeah, it was. I, I think like Just Dance. There's a Just Dance on regular Nintendo Wii. It's like shockingly late. I, got, I gotta bop him. Come on, Massimo. Come on. Finish. I got him. No Chad is a match for our beloved boy. So powerful. Common RT win. <laughs> like every time he just he just does it correctly. This is why I watch. It just seems unnecessary to even say that. Like Gamer God. He won the Pogo minigame. Behold the dice! What is this? <laughs> Ad rolls! All that and you get a 23. And no bonus space. That's so sad. It makes the roll worse. It really feels it. Everyone's just disappointed with the rolls. 
I always thought of Wii U gamepad as a, des as a separate DS touchscreen-like thing. Apparently no Wii U developer thought like that. Oh no, so they did, actually. Um, and there, there are actually our Nintendo DS games on Wii U. Uh, but because the gamepad isn't lined up with the TV at all times, it means that any game where if it simultaneously uses both screens, you have this awkward split down the middle. And, like, it just doesn't work. So they did actually think of using it like that, but they did, did it wrong. <laughs> Poor Wii U. Poor Wii U. You can change the screen layout on DS games. Oh, okay, all right, so you, can you just put it on the TV? Like, that, that's good if you can. It's at least something. I just feel bad for the Wii U. Has some really good games. Like, the tech is just... It's just not there. Start. Oh, I gotta just run laps, is it? Just gotta skid around. How would you ever go the opposite direction? You have to actively, like, work against yourself to accomplish that. Now they used to call me the can drive forward on the track king. Back in college. Still king. <laughs> so many crowns now, Jesus. I, I do hope everyone enjoys the new follower remotes. We're trying to just shuffle them around. Okay. We have 10 dice. If I can roll more than like 20, I'm just gonna drop them. I'm not gonna bother shaking them. Seems to be a stronger strap. Yeah, like already this is significantly higher. So much better, like instantly. We almost got to the gate. Fun fact: I had to ask my mom for Animal Crossing three times. The first time was Amiibo Festival, and the second was Wild World DS, but emulated on the Wii U. It took me a third time to finally tell her I was talking about New Leaf. Oh God, love her. Just trying. Got good news from Massimo's in last place. We had the number of spaces you roll. Oh, okay, I guess Massimo just gets to the gate first now. Sure, well. Congratulations. You did it. Move ahead if you roll a 1, 3, or 5. AI is cracked at this. It's just random dice rolls, <laughs> isn't it? I guess there is the mini games. There is the mini games. He's hacking. I wouldn't put it past Massimo. I don't know why. I don't trust him. The other me's are fine. The other me's are like, you know, they're me's. I'm not right with that guy. Oh, we can all get across the bridge now, too. We had a game like this, too. I don't know. Did the Wii version of Wii Parody have this exact minigame? I don't think it did. I don't remember this. No, it didn't. Okay. At other parody mode. Oh, AI, please switch to the gamepad. I'm glad I've got this piece of tech. Gamepad player must be aware of his or her surroundings. 
Our players run around as gamepad player takes their photos. The gamepad player is hunting you. Wait, I can actually see the AI's perspective on the gamepad. Oh wait, no, no I can't. Um, it stops working. Once the AI takes control of it. Okay, never mind. And you can also see them, um, on the TV anyway. Challenge is to see if we can find, like, an application of the Wii U gamepad with this game. <laughs> but it's like, that couldn't have been done. On just the TV. So far, it's not looking good. Common RTK Bell. He got he lost that mini game there. Oh, do I? No, I do get the extra dice. I do because we our, our team won. Again, for doubles. I do. Roll the bonus dice. Here's. Five more dice, Jesus Christ. Even with like, like I rolled seven dice in that 21, that's so bad. Common RT roll. Common RT moment. I like how people are using the new Pog Champ for these dice rolls. It's like, whoa! <laughs> like you just freak it out. It's like, oh my god, he rolled like seven. You can color his balls into any of the four goals as fast as you can. Try to kick any of your opponent's balls into the goal. Go. I gotta kick the blue balls in. Okay. Did I just go in the goal and like just kick out all the other balls? What if I just like hide? Like, which which color is Massimo? He's red. Just start kicking his ball like into like the corner of the map or something. Hide it away from him. Common Massimo L. <laughs> it's like such a buzzword already. <laughs> oh, this is a good roll. Kind of, nah, it's, it's, that's alright. That's all. Right. I'll take it. Slightly above average. 1v3. Please switch to the gamepad. Oh, okay. I actually have to play on this. Here we go. Gamepad player tilts the platform so the spike ball rolls and knocks off rival play. Okay. Prob probably do that with a Wii remote, but that's okay. I'm trying. I feel like Nintendo Land is a very good application of what the gamepad can actually do. I, I'm not even looking at the screen on the gamepad um, like as I do this because it's just it's easier. Everyone's dead. Okay, that's enough of the gamepad now. Don't get any ideas. Get five more dice. Love the screams in the background. You don't really know what a me sounds like if they scream. You don't have any sound files from. I didn't think this through, did they?
hope there aren't a lot of new people today. <laughs> Well, you think they're gonna be scared for life by like Wii Party U? Yo, the well-known psychological horror game. Nintendo Wii U. I don't think I can come back to the stream after I use that gamepad. I don't know what's going on there. Dan, help! I'm being scared for life. What would have to happen in like Wii Sports trauma? Well, actually, no, no, that, that, that question's easy. You, like, punch your TV or something like that. <laughs> Don't wear the wrist strap. But we party. What has to happen in we party? For you to be like, like, oh, I never want to play a video game again. Like, how bad does it have to get? My sister hit my head with a Wii remote in we party. Jesus Christ. What has even happened with this game? Like, I, I can get Wii Sports. There hasn't even been that much motion in this game. Like, you know, my older brother, he tilted at the Wii U gamepad too severe to the left. Never been the same. Can't confirm Wii Sports Bowl, I threw my remote at the TV on accident. So many people did. I think like the modern day equivalent we have of those videos, like you know when people try VR and they like try to jump out a window, the headset on, and then like inevitably crash. Kind of like what how it was. Point your Wii remote at the center of the target and hold as still as you can. The player whose pointer remains closest to the target wins the game. Okay, so I, I just got a point. My pointer was very shaky. How did I get it so bad? They were like dead steady. They must have just like trailed off as time went on. They weren't even moving. They scared of the backs. It was too much for them. We won like us. I, I just want to say we won like four of these mini games. I'm like, I think we're only just barely ahead of everyone else. Like, fighting for our life with these dice rolls. That's not bad. Actually, no, nah, it's just slightly above average. It's not that great. Challenge time. Okay, roll five dice if you roll at least one green light. You have to move ahead. Single green light is all I need. Okay, we already got it. Pretty good. Thirty-four is below average. Average on a D six is three point five. Is it? Oh, so I guess I'm not doing that well. Minimum roll of, t of 10 dice is 10. 34 is actually below average. 35 would be the average. Oh, okay. Oh, we live in hope. The AI is using the gamepad again. Gamepad player throws rings to try and trap the rival players. All of the rival players get trapped by rings, the gamepad player wins. You gotta tilt the move. Try it. Start. So the only thing that's on the gamepad is just an outline of the ring. He's re they're really going for Massimo. <laughs> I don't think I even need to move. I'm gonna just take like a sip of my water. Oh my god. Cheeky bugger. What am I trying to get Massimo again?
It lulled you into a false sense of security. How'd I get you? You sound so tired today? I'm fine. Do I sound tired? God, he hates the Wii U. No, I'm all good. Classic IT win. He's tired. That's a win. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm all good. I'm all good. What's wrong with his voice today? He's tired of winning. Oh, that sounds so lame to say out loud. I'm just sick of success, you know. What can I say? I see your speech impediment is off today. Oh, not that comment again. That was so weird. Oh, Jesus. Stop gaslighting him into being tired. It's like the weirdest thing to be gaslighted about, too. Like, no, you must be exhausted. No, you are exhausted. You must have no energy. The sun is out in Ireland. It's where we get it, honestly. I <laughs> love the audience boos. Get a really rubbish roll. You get to move ahead the same number of spaces that Irina rolls during this turn. The UFO comes up on the roll, you can warp over to Irina's space. Okay, no, they're just popping in the cannon. Did that just support a different player? From the end of the highway, the player in last place gets to pick the next minigame to play for order. The last player bonus. Oh, okay, I, 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 I thought like the person, someone else. Oh no, it is, yeah. So if someone lands on that, it helps whoever's so in last place. I get it. Okay. Travel across the pool table to dodge the speed and pool balls. Watch out if another player knocks you down, you won't be able to move for a moment. Okay, survive. Welcome back to We Play. Oh god. If you get knocked down twice, is it? You're in trouble? Or you can push people. Just knock him over. Finish. Oh, we're all dead. Well, we weren't long for the world, I guess. That, that escalated very quickly. <laughs> we were fine. We even got hit by the balls a few times. We got a quadra kill. The music was horrible. Yeah, it, it did sound like the instrument was out of tune or something, didn't it? There was something kind of off with it. Okay, let's roll our dice. As many as possible. <laughs> These are such low rolls. Constantly below average. Too bad you have to roll 10 dice and move back that number of spaces. Jesus Christ! 10 dice! Oh my god, I've just lost! I've just lost! Oh my god! Why? That's so many dice! Now it's high as well, we almost got average there. Yeah, we were still below average, but we went back so far.
four dice and 22. The, the, the rolls are so much higher. At least I get the last place boosts now. This is instigating controversy. Yeah, Ma Massimo is going to be uh, the target of a twit longer soon at this rate. Don't like how this is going. First, the fort. Yeah, it turns out you're running the opposite direction. It's not a good idea. I get to pick the mini game. Uh, let's let's try Safari Hustle. Choose an animal to ride to victory. You can sprint to speed up, but that will wear your animal more quickly. Be sure to pace yourself. I say swing the Wii remote to speed up during the race. Okay. You have to like whip a giraffe. Speed up here. Everyone's deciding their vehicles now. I feel like the ostrich is gonna be impossible. Uh to get to like maximum velocity. I feel like it's never going to work. The animal models are very cute, yeah. Let's go, let's, let's, let's bring, bring a zebra. Start. How do we regain stamina? Slowly. The rhino is just going for it. You can see it slowly recharging. I don't think we're gonna win. Finish. No. <laughs> we didn't stand a chance, like she just never ran out of stamina. I <laughs> I wonder who crossed first. Common RT game now. The rhino's cracked. We're gonna have so few dice to move forward with now, too. I think landing on that one space is, is like cost me the entire game, but I don't think I can come back from it. I moved so far in the opposite direction. He lost like always. Jesus. Hey, before I land in that space again, like we have to go back down the walkway. There goes Massimo. Oh, he's coming to join us though. That's such a, that's so brutal of a space. That's so many dice. <laughs> oh, you rolled that number. Guess you'll die. Should have known better. Should have known better. Of course, I'm only gonna roll an 11 on my four dice out of a potential 24. No bonus. We don't stand a chance. It's gonna take so long to get to the end. You're in last place, Massimo, so you get to pick the minigame now. Safe landing. Let's try it. I'm gonna control your jump so you land at exactly zero seconds. The player who lands close to the zero seconds wins the game. Platform height changes every time. Okay, I, I, I think I get it. Aim for exactly zero seconds. So I just press A?
Oh, he's dead. Oh, okay, it's just if we play this one again, that's what it means. Minigames are super quick, aren't they? Okay, only 96 spaces. You can roll a maximum of 60 on these dice. We got 26. Jesus Christ. Oh, we just barely missed the go 10 ahead space, too. I, I don't think I've got above average, like, once. I don't think I've ever gotten it. I roll suck. Try shaking the roll a little. If you shake the Wii Remote and the dice roll, you can carry him up to do the super throw. See, people, that, that didn't really work though, did it? Oh, I, you land on the magic space! <laughs> Have another 10 dice. I think she's just won. She's so far ahead now. Just zoom into the end. Yeah, how you doing, Massimo? He has two dice. God love him. He's trying. Oh, he might have been too harsh on Massimo. Oh my god, he's having the worst time. It's a low roll, at least. The audience booed because it was a low roll. They want to see him go back further. They want them to go roll higher. Oh, he only got a nine. The audience hates him. He's trying his best. Scrabble on the road to pick up as many of the rolling apples as he can. Avoid the spike balls because they'll knock half the apples out of your basket. Okay, just grab apples. Actual disaster. Start. They're, they're just running to the top of the screen. <laughs> Just blocking them. I can't see. I can't see anything. Finish. Somehow won that. Why were they carrying spiked balls? That's actually a very interesting question. Why were those in with the apples? It's just like an old man at the top of the alley. Just letting them loose. It's like, hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> Just wants to see the world burn. Oh, that's a high roll. This might be our, this is our first above average roll. Oh, we actually did it. We're zooming. Finally got one. Okay, I have to play on the game pad again. <laughs> you need to use your voice to play this game. Do you want to continue? They even give you the option to just not play this. Like, even Nintendo knows, like, people aren't gonna really like this one, I think. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna continue. Gamepad player controls the waves with vocal tones in order to push the rival players up the electric ceiling. All of the rival players get zapped, the gamepad player wins. Use the microphone on the gamepad to change the pitch or length of the sound to move the wave. And they're just running for their life. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to scream. I... 
Just just in the mic on the gamepad, please do not make any oh sorry. Uh <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna torture these people. Get ready for this. Hey guys, welcome back to Fortnite game. Oh uh, uh, wait, no, it's not working. It's not working. Why is this only stuck at this one end? Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god, that kills him. I can't get her. Uh, I can't go that low. Almost. I almost got her. Oh, it was close. I was hoping if I just started talking, it would just go everywhere. You didn't put your heart into it. Uh, I, sh I, sh I should have got off. I should have just screamed. I heard us it's too nice now. You literally broke the calibrate. <laughs> it's just like the technology isn't able to handle this. Okay. Although I'm protected from going back on this bonus roll too. It's very kind of the game. Or at least, yeah, no, they are. They, they are protected from it. They don't resolve the space this time. Yeah, well, she might just win. Yeah, no, oh, that'll do it. Well, G <laughs> GG, I guess. Challenge time. Well, ten dice at the total. Dice total 40 or more, you get to move ahead and just win the game instantly. We actually gotta have luck on the dice. No, that that's alarmingly high, I think. Oh, just barely. Just barely. We actually have a chance now. Just short. Only 35, we need an above average roll. Rigged, but in our favor. That PogChamp is getting so much use in the chat today. <laughs> I'm glad people like him. You have two Pogs now. Give that in the Madman one. Yeah, we're safe for we're safe for a little bit. Have another chance. Last place boost. Yeah, Ma Ma Massimo is ve very far behind. Plus thirty. He actually has a chance now. I'm I'm not, I'm not even mad. That he's getting like a free thirty spaces. Like he he could use it. Still in last somehow. Ice spinners. Spin around, strike a pose, get points for each spin and for ending a pose. 20 points for pose face forwards, 10 for posing sideways, and 1 for posing backwards. Hold it vertically. You spin, when the bar on the screen turns red, press A to stop your spin and strike a pose. Okay. Get the spin. Try and get as many as we can. Good enough. Did, why did none of them get it? You just have to press A. They all forgot the post. 
Sleepy Australian, thank you for the thousand bits. Thanks for streaming early from the Aussie crew. That's a very appropriate Twitch username. Hope you get some rest soon. I need 27. We actually got it. We have a chance. I just need to roll an above average amount. And if we get it, we just instantly win. <laughs> no, no, of course not. Never mind. It's just not possible. Uh, I guess I guess she just wins now. I <laughs> think she's just gonna get enough. You can only win the game if you roll a seven. Basically, what's happening? Still at thirty-five, at least. Well, I guess you win. I, will, I was certainly outplayed. Simply a, te a test of skill. Guess I lose. Victory! Everyone is so happy. Congratulations, Irina wins the game. It's <laughs> the end. Look at all these handy graphs. Poor Massimo, like you can see where it really went wrong for him. He never he never recovered from this. Reviews? You can rate the games you played. Using the Wiimote, press A to select this game of star Give the game number of stars to rate the game. Lots of stars means the game was really fun. <laughs> I'm kinda curious as to what the Wii U console's gonna say if I do this. Give it all, like, no stars. I've had the worst time in this establishment. Send and Raiden. Oh wait, no, it's not gonna be able to send it anywhere, of course. The... Everything's offline now. It, where's, where's this? There's nowhere to send this. That, that doesn't go anywhere. Sending it to God. Okay. Uh, let's try a TV party. Oh, that, that, that was exhausting. <laughs> try TV party. There's quite a few here. Baldozer, Teammate Madness, Me, Fashion Plaza, Gamepad Island. I don't think we can play Gamepad Island, unfortunately, because we don't have... I'm not gonna be able to capture anything that happens. It's house party as well. Name that face, sketchy situation, button battle, lost and found square, fast food frenzy. Oh wait, no, these all require at least two players. We can't play any of them. Alright. <laughs> Don't have a friend! It's all gone. We can't play any of those. We can't play this either, because uh, that require that that just uses the gamepad. TV party. Let's try me fashion plaza. One Phil, thanks for that. But it's online play is still possible. I think just the eShop is no longer really usable, except to redownload stuff or get DLC. I don't think this game has online play. Is the only thing. I don't think it has it. Yeah, fashion plaza. Show off your style in Me Fashion Plaza, a costume collecting board game. Go away around the plaza and step on stage to show off the outfits you've put together. 
Oh no, I'm not playing with you again. Hang on. Let's shuffle him. <laughs> we'll go with Marius. Marius looks like he's having a jolly old time. How happy he is. Mario at home? Oh, you're so mean. Leave leave him alone. He's like a sweet old man. Like, look at him. He's so nerdy. Look at the Mii Fashion Plaza. In this game, you've using the gamepad and Wii Remote. Place the gamepad in the center of the playing area so everyone can see it. I've... I mean, it's on my lap, so... Fashion Plaza, you make your way around the board and visit shops where you can collect costume pieces. Gain points by showing off your outfits. Just hop up on the center stage to parade your outfit in front of the audience. Earn a complete costume set will earn you more points. Make sure you check out the map overview and the list of costumes on the gamepad. You start at one specialty roll in one costume piece. Stop the spinner to land on your freebie. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll, I'll take a Mario hat. Sure. <laughs> pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cheeky of you, Nintendo. Hey, the best player win. <laughs> player order has been determined. Let's go. I want die. Okay, there, there, there is quite a bit happening on the gamepad. I think I'm trying to land on the Mario spaces. The gamepad seems to just serve as kind of like a reference more than anything. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to get to those Mario spaces. Map, wardrobe. I, I can just roll? Roll times two, or just a regular roll. Yeah, I think I just want a regular roll. There's one right there if I'm lucky. Did I actually get it? No, not quite. So we've acquired the cowboy hat. Okay, so you can just collect other pieces of fashion if you want them. Got the Princess Peach crown. I already have the hat, actually, so maybe I shouldn't have gone for that. Get better ADP for rolls. Don't think that's going to work somehow. For a one versus rivals game, you will get to pick a costume piece of your choice if you win. Oh, so you just want to win those? Okay. Game of players, the goalie has to stop shots from the rival players. Block the goal three times to win. Power room with two, press two then to take the shot. Left or right? Go. Me, son, the goat. What does this have to do with fashion? I mean, I don't think all the mini games are going to be, like, related to it. Wouldn't really work it, like, make sense. Like seven shots. Did we have to score seven times. Yeah, we do have to score seven times, I think. Don't have a lot of opportunities for failure. If we if we miss one shot, that's it. You gotta psych him out. He's a football pro now. Oh, come on, Marius. People are making fun of you. Show him what you got. I feel like Marius is the kind of man who would make his own tomato sauce. You know, you just come home from work and like he's been working away in the kitchen. It's like made homemade pizza and you're going to watch like 
you know, the latest DreamWorks animation. <laughs> when you come on home. Not Disney, not Disney. He's husband material. Oh, here, I, I really want the four. Come on. It's not quite. I can. If I win this, though, I got a piece of clothing. Just grab the gamepad, I won't die. You'll need it to play this next game. Oh, okay. Prompt to me. Gamepad player operates a punching machine that's used to knock rival players off the platform. All the rival players get knocked off, then I win. Okay. Use the sticks to change the direction of machine arms, left or right, and then throw it those. Cool. I gotta kill him. Start. <laughs> Good start. Come on, Marius. Your time is up. Finish. There we go. <laughs> I think he gave up at the end. A rider, thank you for the 100 bits. Marius is the off-brand knockoff of Mario that Nintendo got when seizing the assets of fake games during a cease and desist raid. It's just, this, people are saying very mean things about Marius. He's just a jo he's just a jolly old man. Not even old, middle-aged. what I want. I think if I if I just get this then I'm like most of the way there, aren't I? Of course, you know, this is rated four stars, so it's above everything else. <laughs> so of course it is. Best costume in the game. Our mascot. He's I want Mario now. Becoming Chris Pratt. Well, now I now he really wants to die. Especially roll four, five, six. Oh. Long live the Wii U, Josephine. How's it going? I hope you had a good stream yourself. Celebrating the end of- well, no, not celebrating. <laughs> Remembering the Wii U. With a Wii U game today. Celebrates the wrong words. <laughs> like, oh, hey! <laughs> I didn't even know this game existed, OMG. I, I wasn't able to play it, um, uh, Josephine, without, uh, having the gamepad that you kindly lent to me. And all it says half the time is look at the TV. Like, it's so sad. There's been, like, I think one application of actually using the gamepad for a minigame, and it was to, like, scream into a microphone on it. That's it. Nothing else. Okay, let's roll a two. Not today. Look at the TV, Dan. Ignore the voices. I already have that one. Roman top acquired. What is the Wii Sports Club stream? We we did Wii Sports Club before. We actually have done that one. Um, it was really difficult to play online. Our players must avoid heavy blocks being dropped from above by the gamepad player. Yes, okay, the goal is survive. When are we gonna get Switch Party U? Start. It's the real sequel that we're all waiting for. Is he, is he even going for me? Oh, he is! He is! I'm just 
are only, only going to move when I absolutely need to. Everyone else is like panicking here. I want die he just remains calm. Finish. Only if the announcer dude also comes back. Like the little Muppet guy. Yeah, we need him. Important. Everyone just boos. Ah! Oh. I fight boos. Disappointed. Oh, the other players won. Hardy Phil, is that his name? Bless. Hardy Phil. Oh, look at Marius go. He's zooming around the map. I don't know if it even helps to go fast around the board other than get those dice blocks. Just loop back around. Congratulations, Marius. It's time to take center stage and show off your outfit. Oh, so when you do a lap, you have to assemble your costume. Is, it, does it even matter to make it match? You've got a lot of style, Marius. For showing off your costume, you get a costume piece plus a specialty roll. He's got the shoes we need. Oh, can I like beat him up or something if I land in the same space and take his shoes? You get bonuses if you match, okay. Do you want to try and match? Okay, let's do a roll times two. It's not a Mario square for, for quite a bit. Host is a Canadian from South Park. <laughs> Does look it. Oh, we were so close on this. Oh, if I win though, I can steal his shoes. Please grab the gamepad. Okay, hang on. Gamepad player drives the big tank and tries to roll over rival players or hit them with the spiked balls. Rival players win if they deplete the gamepad player's energy with spiked balls. Okay. Tilt up or down to move the treads of the tank. Shoot with ZR. Okay. I must kill them. Start. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's actually quite hard to turn. It's, it's quite hard to turn. <laughs> No, Marius. <laughs> He's dead. You just you just get time to think about what you've done after as well. Before the fanfare kicks in, it's like the aftermath of the battlefield. Okay, uh, I just want the shoes then, because I have a I have a complete matching outfit. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna get so many points for this. Just listen to the noises he's making. Oh god, he's so cute. Oh, he heard us. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't have caught him out like that. That's self conscious, yeah. Muppet sounded ass. Call him Elbow. It's Party Phil. He's the same one from Wii Music? Was Party Phil in that one too? I thought it was a different character for some reason. I don't know if he was called Party Phil. Someone else admitted all this. Shoes. Get his shoes. That was Sebastian Chu. It, it was Sebastian Chu. Thank you. It's a different character in the Mii Cinematic Universe. Fashion challenge. Depending on how well you do in this game, you will win different fashionable prizes. Sure. And of course, you know, none decides uh, 
is the most fashionable, like a good old long jump. Launch yourself off a long pole and into the air to see which player can land furthest from the start. He's going far, he's running fast, and no one just went to release the pole. Okay, hold it vertically, shake the sprint, plant the pole on the ground, and press A to launch yourself at the chosen angle. Take the Wii as you begin to send in order to increase your distance. Shake. A. Shake more. You don't pole vault to get your clothes. What kind of stores are you shopping at? It's, it's on a, when it's on a really high shelf. You can just straight up just fly. <laughs> 67 meters jump. Is that even good? No, that's awful. That's just... That's so bad. He's garbage. Look, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know the angle would go that high. I wasn't- I wasn't expecting to jump like 150 meters in one go. Even Grandma did better than you. Okay, but no one- no one's gonna do better than my man Marius. Watch him go. He is a force to be rec- I- No, he's- he's going down. He's going down. Finish. Did his best. Better than RT. Not a common RTL. Well, that 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 rolls off the tongue a bit too easily. <laughs> You've heard of RT game? Now get ready for like a rumble tumble loser. I don't think I'm gonna get anything, am I? Full astronaut set acquired. He gets a clown hat. In four place I want dice, so you don't get a prize. Better luck next time. Now he really wants die. There's two gifts here if I land on them. So I, I think I should just try do that. I we'll try and get a slow-mo roll if I want to get it really exact enough. Just go for, go for a regular dice. The gifts seem like they might be good. There's something good here. One-stop shop. Choose one costume piece. Do I just get it? I could try and get, like, all four of these. Might be tricky. We'll take, we'll take the most uh, valuable one. Don't change into it. Assemble your next outfit. I have half of it now. This is actually very cute for a game. I actually like this one a bit. It's like a little different. I think the first one was just kind of like... was kind of rubbish. This is a little more fun, white heart it. Got a very bad impression just from that first one. Like, funnily enough, is what the console recommended it to. Like, you should play this! Oh, I really shouldn't. The music is lovely. Console recommends suffering. <laughs> I think the console's like, buy a Nintendo Switch already. And it's just gonna recommend like the most awful things. What are you doing here? He just wants to keep expectations low. <laughs> I feel like that was Nintendo with the Wii U in general. Like, there's, there's a lot of underwhelming games on this console. It was like a Mario Tennis game that released where it's like, it's literally nothing but just basic tennis. It's like Amiibo Festival. 
It was like a Star Fox game that like I think no one cared about. Like like it just came and went. No one ever played it. Yeah, let's just roll roll a regular dice. I'm taking center stage. Is this the outfit you want to wear for your evaluation? Yes, it is. Maximum points. Nintendo Brandon. Assemble the full Mario costume so you get double the points. That's so good. So good. We're so far ahead now. Got a lot of style I want to die for showing off your costume. You get you get a costume piece plus a specialty roll. I need to stop it when it's in purple. I, that, I very clearly didn't stop it there, but okay. It only rolls a one, two, or three. Pick the roll you want. Oh no, I have to discard one. Pick the roll you want, it's probably the best one. That has no idea how a roll works. Oh, I played Dark Souls 2, alright? We're familiar with this now. Can't say that anymore. I invest it in the funny meme stat. It's like you leveled Vigor and we party. It's like, oh, he's got the wrong party you build. He's not doing too well here. <laughs> Everyone knows you're supposed to level like stamina for this kind of game. It's a test of endurance. Funny thing is, like, we joke about this, okay? I'm convinced of this. People, people, people can contest this. A lot of like the most like kind of childish Nintendo games where it's like, yeah, it's Mario and he jumps. They are made for like the adult kind of more like kind of hardcore audience. Call of Duty, which tries to take itself so seriously in comparison, it, it's literally made for children. Like, like that's how it always goes. I, I I feel like a lot of games just online, like ultra modern realistic, uh, like FPS shooter. Little Timmy's gonna love this at seven years old. Splatoon. Oh no, you need to be at least like 23 to play this game. The average age for playing this is, is like in your mid twenties. It's absolutely how it works, and just game and culture. Oh no, Marius has a Mario costume too now. Welcome underage, can't play Splatoon three at the age of twenty. No, you're not, you're not old enough. You're not old enough. You need to at least be able to drink alcohol in the United States before you can drink Splatoon. Like, I, I, I don't make the rules. Like, there probably is a correlation there. There probably is. I, I see that with loads of games. Like, remember, like, a new Kirby comes out. You don't see little Timmy where it's like, yeah, I love Kirby. No, it's like, like, like 35 year old man's like, fucking yes. I've been waiting years for this. That's the demographic of those games. Like, that, that's just how it works. I, I'm convinced of it. Uh, sorry, what, what do I want to roll? <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Uh, I need the Roman outfit. If I roll a five? Can I just pick what I roll with this? This is an easy roll. Press A when the die reaches at the number you want. Cool. Two. Three, four, five. We did it. Oh, wow. 18 plus games are played by 10 year olds. I think it's a, a weird marketing strategy to like appeal for children. Just think about it, right? Like, you know, when you're a kid, it's like, oh no, like, you, you, you can't watch that movie. That's a grown up movie. I'm thinking of like even stuff like Lord of the Rings that's like no no you don't want to watch that. Kid logic is absolutely 
You're not the boss of me. I'm gonna watch it. It's straight up. And then, like, if it's E for everyone... Yo, that's an 18-plus game right there. It's an 18-plus game, just immediately. Like, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. E for everyone. Everyone can have fun. Mature game. The fact you shouldn't makes you want some more. Exactly. That's, that's exactly how it works. It's like using the age rating as an actual selling point. Like, we party you. The audience for this game, as of right now, is probably... I mean, I mean I'm 27. I might be the only audience playing this game right now. Soon to be 28 in my advanced elderly age. He's an old man. You can't even buy this game anymore. You're 27. Oh, people are freaking out. They thought you were 30. You're not allowed to say that. I'm not 30 yet. You can't. You can't say that. Wait, you sound way older. <laughs> You're not allowed. You gotta. You gotta let me have my time, right? I still got like two weeks till my birthday. You're more than halfway to 50. Someone ban that person. No, we're not having another existential dread stream. We're not. We we did this with like the Wii games the other day. We did this the other day. It's, it's not happening again. <laughs> it's not. You started this. Oh, I was talking about game age rights, and then people started calling me old. We need to we need to take life like Marius does, you know, he's just happy and jolly. You know, despite being 45. Ah, Jesus. Two more years until you're halfway to 60. Mods! Actually ban this person. No joke. Get him out of here. Get <laughs> actually ban them. No, don't, don't actually ban them. Don't, don't actually, don't. <laughs> please don't actually, please don't. Let me, let me make that clear. It's like, you gotta go. You gotta go. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, what am I even rolling for? I have no idea. Four, five, six dice. I'll take it. <laughs> what was it like when there were dinosaurs? <laughs> no, we're not doing this again. We need to have- a, we, we want to just have fun playing Wii and Wii U games this next while, okay? I have so many of these to play this next while. Like, I, I'm genuinely excited for them. Want to change your clothes? Just point at the costume piece you want and press A to grab it. You get points based on the number of star for each item. Highest points goes to the best combo. Oh, this gives me a chance to change. Perfect. Perfect. We've almost got the full set. We just need to find shoes. Not wearing the clown costume just yet. Oh, the clown costume takes up two pieces. I see what's going on. Yeah, no, I leave the clown costume behind. Yeah, leave that behind. Move from your wardrobe. Yep, that's fine. Invest in cowboy. I think this is better overall. The clown costume did get five points though. It's only a three piece. This one will give so many if we actually get it though. Heard I want die is a friend in Rome. Is it nostalgic dresses like an ancient Roman? Shut up, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so <yeah. laughs> oh, it's so mean. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. 
Any fun plans for your birthday? Uh, yeah, I, I'm actually... Like, it's around my birthday, but I'm actually going to be entering a Pokemon tournament in, in London. I'm, I'm very excited for it. Hopefully get to meet up with some dear folks in my life too while I'm there. Should be good fun though. Yeah, look, Ma Mary has got a costume. Double points. Super Marius Brothers. I feel like it'd be like Super Marius Uncles. Something like that. Super Marius Step Siblings. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, that's the one. Balance Broncos. Let's go. Balance yourself by tilting forward and back as your Broncos tries to buck you off. Uh, stay on longer to the other players to win. Okay, so it is just balance. Start. Okay, we're ready. Oh, he's going for it. The AI has got this down. Finish. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they got us. Look, your spine would break. I've, I've, I've seen like some mechanical balls in that. Like, they had one. It was set up in like a pub or a bar or something, and it just looks dangerous. I I would really be worried that like I'd just be catapulted and like my spine shatters in two. Like that's it. I'm I'm just gone. Oh, we actually get a costume piece though. That that's actually amazing. Came second. And a full outfit unlocked. Costume piece from a set of your choice. Uh, give me the shoes, please. Wait, does it not give me this? Oh, it doesn't give me the specific. Oh, that's annoying. I, th I thought it would give me the one I didn't have. That would just have like... I just have two skirts now. Okay, well, if I get a two or a four... But both of those are good. Both of those are good. Two or four. Come on. Take it. No, I don't need a third one! <laughs> Game, please! <laughs> oh no, it is set ones on the map as well, isn't it? Must be, we there's one for the shoes! Oh no! I don't need this many copies. Just, just leave that behind. The thing clearly shows pants. It, I'm stupid. What do you want me to say? I got it wrong. I don't know what you want. <laughs> oh, he's being so mean today. Clip that! He's being so mean. Don't bully the elderly chat and you've highlighted the message so there's a higher chance I see it. I... Fucking mean. Let him rest, he's so tired. Is, is every Wii game just gonna be like this? It's like, oh, what, what game has Grandad got for us on stream today? <laughs> is that just what it's gonna be like now? <laughs> oh, damn it. 
Okay, what, what do I need to roll? I need to get the shoes. There are shoes. Hang on. Wait, return. Funnily enough, the map is actually really rough to look at on the gamepad. It's easier to look at it here. I need a four. A five will get me the other shoes. So a four or five is just generally quite good. What is this? Center stage for fashion violation. I don't want that yet. Four or five is pretty good, so we'll do the four, five, six dice. That's perfect. We got the exact one we wanted. Shoes acquired. We're gonna get so many points now. Dad, it's been a couple hundred years as your armor still fit. Yes, it does. I swear to God. <laughs> it's the lowest point outfit though. Is it actually? Oh no. Oh God, you're right. The, the shoes are only worth one. It drags it down for some reason. The cowboy outfit's ten. The Roman outfit's only nine. Oh no, it is. Considering the work for it, that's actually really low. Yeah. So much work to get. But it gives 20 total. No, it does. Sorry. Oh, yeah. No, it's still... Doesn't it? No, it gives 18 total. It doesn't give as much as the cowboy outfit. The cowboy outfit's most more valuable. Not the best outfit, but it is a full outfit. Yeah, we'll just have to take it. We don't have much choice. Marius is gonna like show us all up. I also need to see if I can get around the board again. I think at the moment I I just do the times two dice. We want to just try and get to the end. This is kind of rubbish. This is a new dice. Roll times three. That's good. We might get another lap in. Are you just steal? You win this minigame, you get to steal one of your opponent's costume pieces. Good luck to you both. Oh, we could have stolen Marius' shoes. Oh, I need to steal his hat now. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Wait, no, I have the hat. Hang on. Wait, what do I need? No, no, no one has the other cowboy outfit, do they? No one has the other cowboy outfit, like, outfit pieces. There's, there's nothing that's even worth stealing. This is, this is all terrible. I can steal his clown hat. I throw darts at numbered panels and compete for points. Time to jump to hit the panels with the highest points. Hit flick. When I want to land the trampoline or the jump higher, press A to throw that. Oh, okay, you just gotta keep jumping, like, jumping higher. Got it. Okay. Okay, uh, this isn't going well so far. Is not going well. Oh, stealing it right at the end. We're taking his hat. I'm sorry, Marius. Super Marius stepdad's not gonna. Not, not looking too good. I think that is the one that works best. Super Marius stepdad. Okay, uh, let's swap this out. Take the clown hat. 
Don't need the extra skirt. Oh, he can't pursue his clown career. He'll be fine. Arius' chat stepdad. You can see it. Slow-mo. He's already enough of a clown without the hat. You mean me or Marius? You just... Uh, maybe I shouldn't clarify for the sake of my own self-esteem, actually. No, I shouldn't ask that. I sh shouldn't ask. Let's, just, let's leave that question open-ended, chat. Sometimes you just don't need to know. Jesus, she's zooming. There she got the full outfit. I think it, it really is going to come down to who can just get around the board the fastest before the game's out. And like turn into some haphazard combination of clothes. New costume piece acquired. I have the times three dice, so I'm just gonna zoom. Oh, that is also Mary's. No, that's that's a regular dice. I thought that was his plan too. Oh, never mind. Here he goes. What step that got for us? Oh, I do kind of feel bad for him. The costume costume's not fair and too well. He's so many shirts. He, he kind of needed that hat. In round 12. Okay. Now question, because if I land on that, I get to pick something, don't I? It might not be a bad idea to just deliberately try roll for this. Yeah. Because then I can get like another cowboy piece. For this turn, I, I think we just do go a regular roll. We missed it anyway. That's fine. That's this. It's all good. Hang on, just let him whistle to us for a second. Hang on, oh, one second. Hang on, just check them. Typing noises. Give me one moment. He's dead. No, I'm not dead. Hang on. We good. He has fallen. Old age got I swear to God. I swear to God, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna be right back. Just one minute, if that's okay. I'll leave you in Mareep's capable care. Just, just one minute. Anyone needs to use the loo, get some water now. It's time. Be right back.
I come back and the first thing I see is, don't worry, chat, he's just focusing on his pension. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me, gang. It's good to see you here. Yo, know, some days the character namesake of I Want D Die, uh, speaks to me stronger than others. <laughs> Let's go set a stage. Wait, oh, wait, 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 hang on, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, Marie was stealing the show. Marie was stealing the show. Let's take a look at your points for this outfit. Full Roman. 18 points acquired. Pretty good. Do we think there's like bonus costume points at the end, similar to like Mario Party? With just like random bullshittery? I, I wanted to stop in the cowboy section, so I'm gonna stop it when it's on the Roman, and hopefully it just trails over there. That's what it did last time, right? Oh god damn it, no, just not that one. Oh, we were so close. So unfortunate. Actually so close. Mental darkness is increasing. <laughs> They're doing their best with the costumes. Seven points. So we, we just need to zoom around the board with whatever we have. It'll be okay. Just a few extra points to secure our lead. It's not much time left. Better wear those three shirts with those gas prices. <laughs> I want that I will keep warm for the winter. Gamepad player uh, flies to UFO, tries to zap us. I think I think we're just running. Yeah, we're just running. Start. Coming for us. Okay, he's gotta he's gotta abduct you a while to get you. Oh, there goes one. Okay, now it's time for the run in a perfect square strategy. Finish. <laughs> he's gonna make it home. Did lose Mario, so. No longer with us. He didn't escape. He didn't make it home. We get, we get nothing for winning those, which is a bit unfortunate, too. It'd be nice if we got, like, a random piece or something. I don't know. But you did it. You prevent disaster. That's your prize. Call me Bessie the Cow, because I'm getting abducted. Imagine, like, aliens actually get you. Like, like, just your friend is actually, like, in a tractor beam. And he's going up to the sky, and that's the last thing he says. Like, before he, like, actually just disappears forever. Like, well, there he goes. Classic buddy Eric. I never saw Eric again after that night. Select only the heart shapes from the notebook. You'll lose points if you select any of the other shapes. Okay, pick the hearts. It's so, like, motionless. It's kind of unnerving. Start. Look for the heart. Are all spades. I'm 
just, I'm like sweeping these up. I missed that one somehow. Pretty good. Got so many points. You missed the biggest one. How? So it's like, like tunnel vision when you see one. You get to steal one costume piece from any rival player who placed after you. Oh no, Marius, I'm so sorry, but I need your trousers. <laughs> We're taking everything from this poor man. Stepdad's not doing too well. <laughs> they, they're still stealing from him. Wait, everyone gets something from him, do they? And neither of them can steal any costume plays, pieces. Okay. He lost two. He lost like a full outfit. Just been mugged. Okay, I need to get the cowboy boots. Okay, let me check my handy Wii U gamepad. Boots are quite far in. They are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen away. Yeah, we might as well just roll the times three dice, and maybe we just get lucky and roll a five. That's really awful. <laughs> That's actually so bad. But if we win, we can get the boots. We just the problem is we might not make it around the board. This might be meaningless. Gamepad player hides the diamonds in the treasure chest. Gamepad player must safely hide at least one of the three diamonds to win the game. Oh my god, I think this is actually going to be a game that utilizes the gamepad in the correct way. Was I taking advantage of a second screen that other people can't see? I never thought I'd see the day. actually been used correctly. We're not after a good start though. Wait, do I win? Is it just one round? Oh, round two, okay. I only have one diamond left now. Surely they won't click the big chest. We're good. So out of place. They like double guess it. And now they'll pick the big chest. So you don't put it there. Put it in this random one. There we go. I looked it up. This is somewhat false. There's a mini game on turn 15. If you win that, then you can instantly move to the stage. Are, are we meta gaming? We party you. To, like strategically plan in advance. It seems a little. It seems a little much. I don't know if we need necessarily need to do that. I'm gonna be honest with you. You gotta plan this very carefully. Cowboy boots, please. Cowboy costume required. We can get so many points if we make it back now. We are here to win, Dan. <laughs> Stakes are high. <sighs> okay, get second place, it might as well be failure. We do actually need to make it back. If someone else makes it back before us, they might just win from points. Hoping for a good specialty dice. My own costume. Artie is now appropriately dressed to venture into Texas. I have like a border check. And it's like if you don't state like you're on your way to meet with the sheriff in like an om ominous tone. Like a toothpick in your mouth. They turn you down. Oh, you can't pass here. I'm sorry. Let's 
Source and Texan. It's true. Confirmed. I need to go as far as I can. Give us a times three dice, and then we just get lucky on that next turn. And maybe we make it back. Lucky spin. Spin the spinner to win a fantastic prize. Well, some of these are actually pretty good. You win one costume piece from a set of your choice. I... So I can take more of the clown outfit? I... I don't know if there's really a point. We can have backup cowboy pieces, just in case. Okay, let's take let's get the clown shoes, sure. Let's pick them up. If we get a high roll next turn, we can make it. Who is he else is he playing with? Uh, so you know, these are these are my beloved friends I like to play multiplayer games with. The AI. I think I think I only played Mario Party 10 on Wii U like I want to say like twice with other people. And like outside of that it was just purely with the AI. <laughs> That's it. I remember being so excited for it too because they confirmed the amiibo for it. Oh, I just gotta run. A bad player will turn invisible must hide from the rival players for 20 seconds. Specific panels light up in the gamepad player steps in them so keep your eyes peeled. Like move and chase. Oh, this is basically the setup from um, Nintendo Land, isn't it? The Luigi's Matches game. They're here. <laughs> yeah, good, good game. That, that's it. I feel like the setup for some of the minigames is longer than the actual game. Oh my god. Speed run, oh my god. Oh, don't do it, Marius. I no, you're not taking that hat. Yep, sure, go <laughs> over the astronaut outfit. Oh he lost! He's not having much luck. I feel like Marius would be the kind he's he's the kind of he's the kind of person, right? Where he's got a barbecue, like, and burger buns, and so many toppings, and hot dogs, and it's all lined up for the family, like, kinda get together. And then when everyone arrives, they say, Oh, we ate before we came. I feel really sorry for him. Okay, we need a high roll. <laughs> Thanks, game. Oh, I can steal I can steal another costume piece. We can get the clown suit. We only we only have room for the clown suit. I don't think anything is good here. Just, just steal everything Marius has left. Okay, choose the correct card and rotate it to complete the symmetrical picture. With the cursor of the card and press A to grab it. Rotate the Wii remote to rotate the card. Oh Jesus, okay. Oh, it's not very intuitive controls. Like you kind of just tap it a direction. 
sometimes it turns. I feel like the equivalent of like, you know those like children's toys where it's like, put the shape in the hole. Some somehow I got that one wrong. <laughs> Turned it the wrong way. It all goes into the square hole. It does. It does. That's the easy way. He barely won. Oh, he got his hat. I'm gonna toss out his shirt. Throwing away like another piece of his clothes. If you rolled a four, you would have won. I, I don't think I could roll a four. I don't think I had... I didn't have the, like, set your roll dice. I think we were more likely to get it with triple. Got a normal dice? Yeah, but that's like a 1 in 6 chance. It's like a 1 in 6 to get what I need, whereas, like, the triple, even if I got, like, a 5 or a 4, I would have won. Could have stolen a clown suit and had f uh, two full sets. Yeah, but it was funny to steal from Marius. He's doing his best. Yeah. The player who finishes in first place will hit the center stage for a fashion evaluation. We have to win. Pose pros. Quickly select the silhouette pose that matches the pose of the me character at the center. The more quickly you find the correct pose, the more points you will earn. Okay, so just just find the silhouette. Yeah. Go fast. Start. Come on. All right, I got it. Gotta get it. Secure our victory. There it is. No, Marius! <laughs> no! Oh, uh, he's really doing his best. He accidentally clicked, I think. Okay, round four. I, I don't think he's gonna come back from this. They're really, I, they're really struggling with some of them. <laughs> they just give up. Well, Rip Marius, he did his best. He fell to old age. <laughs> I think we just win now. I think that's it. It, it depends if there's like some Mario Party like bullshittery right at the end. Oh, we're getting so many points. So far ahead. It's not even close. Now for the final results of the game. Winner got a total of 54 points. I wonder who it could be. I want to die as the winner. Congratulations. We did it. Stage one. Oh, that's cute. You get to see all the costumes come to the end. Uh, Mostly. Stage 3 didn't have a lot of turnout. People did their best. Like, you know, three-day kind of, like, like conventions. Just always a little too long. Two days, though. Sweet spot. Leave some reviews. Well, I was fantastic in this one.
But you, you, if you leave one review, you have to leave them all, I think. Oh, you, you, you can skip if you want. Give it five star for all of them and just see what it does. That last one on the right actually probably might be at least a four star just because it actually used the gamepad in an interesting way. You can rate them zero stars. Okay, well we can't do house party. Oh, is there anything in archives? Oh, this, is, this is all just game stats. Meverse post about we party you is on. Could you tell? There's no amazing feats. There's no, no amazing feats are listed because none have yet been attained. You are not good enough. You haven't done anything of note. Like wow, thanks we party you. Yeah, we can have an, we can have another TV party. We can't do Gamepad Island. We we simply do not have enough players. Uh, we could try the ball dozer. When big at minigames to collect as many balls as possible, then drop them into the ball dozer for points. I mean, that's that's close to gambling. Let's see. Well, the perfect football team of me players and teammate madness put together the best combination of colors and numbers to create the best team possible. This was. This was in the, Wii, the original Wii Party, but they've made it so it's only available with two players. You remember this? Why can't you play this solo anymore? It, mu yeah, it must be different in some way. It must have modified it, but it just seems kind of weird that like you actually need someone else here. There's, there's so many games here that I just I simply cannot play. I'd love to give Fast Food Frenzy a try. The game had to a cash register and take food orders for your hungry from your hungry customers. The server has to memorize the orders and dish them out to the correct players. Hang on, I, I could try this. Hang on. Yeah, me, me and me and me like pain are ready to go. <laughs> Playing with the only friend we got. Let's set up a burger joint. Okay, this game uses the gamepad. I'm gonna need bolt, bolt controllers. Welcome to I Want Donalds. You only need the gamepad to play this game. Wait, really? Fast Food Frenzy is a fast food game where one player is the cashier and the others are hungry customers who want to order something to eat. Customers shout out what they want the cashier takes orders. Oh, okay, so... Oh, so this is almost like less entertaining than I thought it was. You bet your friends get to place food orders. Um, and you just have to serve them. If I have a customer, take a look at the menu and call out your order to the cashier. Start. Give me, give me a burger. Ice cream, the corn salad. Cheesy hot dog. I get a hamburger on that and a chicken burger. Give me a fish burger. Iced tea and a strawberry ice cream. You can order up the three more items, check the menu to make sure you've ordered everything you want. Yeah, give me another burger. Another burger. Okay, this, this lets you order a lot. If this guy ro strolled into McDonald's, like, you'd just be like, like, what, what, what are you doing to your digestive tract? Slide each item onto the tray of the player who ordered it. Here's a hamburger. Here's a chicken burger. Oh, I see what's happening. It, there's supposed to be multiple friends. This doesn't even work with two players. Because there's only one person ordering. So this is this is all of his food. Wee 
and the gamepad to me like pain and serve the order. Wow, you got like the seven types of burger I wanted. Great job, everyone. Time to dig in. What I want, I do. I hope to see you again soon for another delicious. It's over. It's already over. I was thinking you might have to serve customers or something like that. You know, like that Kirby mini game or even like Overcooked or something. It was. <laughs> oh, we got the coffee shop stage. Hang on. Try this. Okay, uh, do you want to hear the rules? No, I think we already know what's going on. Like, this is just like you pretend to run a shop with the gamepad. Okay, what, what, so what, what, what are we ordering, gang? Okay, we're ready. Orders up. Okay. Here's your espresso. Here's another espresso. Did you order an espresso? Another espresso for you there. Here's an additional espresso. Here's another espresso. I need a little more coffee. Here's another espresso. Just try and, try and just fit them all on the tray. Here's another espresso. Just one more espresso. Got a, got a, I know you got a long night ahead of you. <laughs> Some of those coffee cups are hanging on by the edge. <laughs> it's like actual heart failure. We like pain is content. Finish. He is finished. Time to dig in. He's just gonna start picking up every cup and taking like a sip. You gotta wait for it all to cool. <laughs> Forgot the muffins 0 out of 10. I didn't never go to sleep again. <laughs> 15 minutes go by fast. Yeah, that was a 15 minute minigame. I... I'm not convinced. Oh, there are other ones you can play with one player, but... Um, because it's on the Wii U gamepad, I can't show you any of them. Hmm. Um, well, but they're there. They are there. We we just cannot see them. I wonder what it's gonna say, like, why did you choose tabletop football? Maybe it might capture? You need to look at the gamepad while playing. Is it just gonna say, look at the gamepad? But like watching a video in the wrong resolution. Players take control of a football team to score as many goals as possible. Build the six B players on the field with L to kick and block the ball. Only can only move left and right with L in order to block shots. There's no audio. Um, unless you turn on like the gamepad audio, I think. I don't know if you can hear that. There's not even any music. <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of cute, I guess. Uh, I feel like this might have been a prototype for like clubhouse games or something like that, if they're doing stuff like that. Played yourself. It's kind of sad. Uh, we can do Baldozer. Finish with Baldozer. 
feel like there was other game modes in the original Wii one, wasn't there? I feel like there was like a game show one that you could have played by yourself. A balldozer. Okay, let's... New rank... is expert. Let's see who we got. Eduardo, Z Steven, and Zizi. Is it Zizi? How you pronounce it? Let's go. Alright, we won't get playing. Shishi. Thank you. Welcome to Bulldozer. <laughs> Only need Wii Remote to play this game. The gamepad now just says, look at the TV. Bulldozer is a game where you complete compete for points by dropping balls in the Bulldozer machine. I allow it in a minigame at the start of each turn. The higher you, you're placed in the minigame, the more balls you get to drop in the Bulldozer. The red, green, and yellow balls each get you one point, and a golden ball will get you ten points. So five points of a skull ball drops on your turn. Watch out. Best player win. A lot of balls. Ball Dozer was my nickname in high school. Oh no. Let's go. Press the button with perfect time to skip across the... I'm just gonna fail it. Just gonna fail it. There's no hope for me. Three, two, one, go! I've already fallen behind. So far behind. Finish. They just drowned. Painful. I, I'm, I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying. Rado got first place in the minigame round and gets to drop four balls. So don't drop the skull ball, you want the golden balls. Oh, they have to drop vertically down as well, or you lose everything. Okay. That might not be a bad thing to go third here. Today's bingo night really got out of hand. I feel like that minigame was like drunk bingo night and what happens. Grandma had a little too much tequila. You get two balls. I want to drop on this side. I'll I'll take it. You only get one ball if you came last. Sad day. Rocket, thank you for 200 bits. It's like my Butlin's childhood days? A ch Butlin's childhood holidays. I don't know what that means. Choose a starting point on the ramp from which you'll coast down your skateboard. The player who gets closest to the stairs without falling down and wins the game. Oh, okay. Butlin's is a holiday resort. Okay. Never heard of it. You're too old. It's a holiday resort in the UK. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta choose where to be on, on the ramp. Everyone's like, I, got, I gotta go higher.
Oh, he's totally dead. We're all good. Finish. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 is cancelled. I like to. Do you imagine if, like the devs like said, "Okay, we got the gamepad now. What if the gamepad is the skateboard?" And like you just stand in the controller in your room, and that's how you like play it. It's like the Wii pad thing. Oh wait, no, yeah, so you should probably use the Wii balance board for that. They actually have the technology for this. So don't need to just break this controller. I can do that by itself. Already. I want the golden ball. It's gonna be a rubbish change. That that did like nothing. Oh! That smoked a little too soon. Stand the controller, great idea. I mean, they, they literally did it for, for Wii Fit. Very different controller, but... Back in the day, we had Wii Fit. Um, for the Switch's generation, I think we have, like, the cardboard game. This is close, we got something really different. <laughs> Oh, no, no, we do have Ring Fit. We do have Ring Fit, sorry. Let's, let's we forget. Literally played that game. Don't get the gold ball. Ever play that skateboard controller? Is there a skateboard controller? I think we had this conversation ages back. I vaguely remember it. Connect, you are the controller, it's cancelled now. I tried to get a connect working, it, it is like fundamentally broken. I, I really tried to get one set up before. It just didn't work. Next time will feature a bonus ring. If a ball drops through the ring, an avalanche of balls will be added to the machine. Okay, so you really want to get this. Memorize the 10 ingredients that the, the cooks put in the pot. If you think correctly, you'll fail the class. Last remaining player wins the game. Oh no, okay. Remember this perfectly. Remember which vegetables the chef is flushing in the basket. Potato, carrot, onion. I've already forgotten. I've, I've, uh, he's got a lot of carrots and onions. It was one green pepper. It's just gonna be like everyone's like, is it a carrot, potato, or an onion? Start tossing these ingredients in. It's not in order. Definitely another carrot. Oh, there, there it goes. There was a green pepper, so we should we should probably put that in now. I was unsure on that. What happens if we just get it perfect? The AI actually seems to have remembered. Oh, I don't- okay, right, they, they just mess it up at the end. I don't think there was corn. Oh no, um... I mean, surely there was a second potato at some point. I thought he put in like three of them. They're <laughs> all just- We've already established there's no corn. Finish. Why? Why would you put it in again? <laughs> well, we did our best. Yeah, 
We gotta get the hoop. Yes, onion soup. Onion soup's actually quite nice. I've had it before. Very tasty meal. Bonus time, see you. An avalanche of balls will now drop into the machine. Oh, look at them go. Okay, oh, good lord. Well, that wasn't as dramatic as I thought it would be. Well, he did, he did get 12 points, though. It was like a very calm avalanche. You really want to get it in the ring. A lot more balls, at least, now. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, okay, I, I might just lose now. <laughs> Calm down, Eduardo. Like, look how many he's got. He's got 39. Forty. I don't know I can come back from that. There's like just three skulls in there now for me and I have two balls. <laughs> what, what do I even do? Everyone <laughs> just... They're just falling out already. <laughs> Making it even worse. <laughs> Nothing. I got one point and Eduardo got... 40. Don't worry, Dad. Most people only have two balls. It's normal. <laughs> Yeah, you only have a moment to see which boxes are filled with apples. Open up the three boxes, but avoid the ones containing spiders. At least points you pick a spider full of box. That's unnecessarily terrifying. Oh my god. I think we should be okay here. I don't think they're gonna be like HD realistic spiders. More like Animal Crossing spider. Oh, we have been attacked. Oh, I only get- okay, I've, I've already messed up. Alright. Yes, I lose. AI was simply too powerful. How long do they include like a postcard? You know, after you complete each mini game, just like a nice pan and shot of the world you were in. They only had six legs, those spiders. Common Eduardo win. Oh, don't you dare get the ring again. I don't think any of us even stand a chance. How did he get that? Steve, Steven's just gonna set it up for Eduardo again. That walls off the sides too, that's so good. He, he hadn't even placed his boss that entire time. He still, he still has another go. I only get one ball at the end to make a difference. Like, how do I even catch up? Oh god love you, Shishi. God love that nothing happened. There's not enough in that top row now. Start. 
Go for it, my ball. You made a small difference. Got a gold one. No hoop, though. Final round is up next. Nice. Let's check the points and standings. Like, no one has come close to Eduardo. And that last place is Shishi. Just 36 points behind the leader. Like, party Phil, there's no need to rub it in. Like, she's already struggling enough. You're just gonna make her cry. It's two bonus rings now. It's all, You're only 36 points behind. First opponent's balloons with a toy hammer, keep your balloons safe, and then pop to win the game. Okay. Party Phil is an asshole. Start. Oh, okay, I guess I'm inst- <laughs> That was so fast. It's just over. Instantly, I only get one ball now. God damn it. I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna win. I'm gonna lose by s so much oh God damn it they get another bonus I think they are going to lose some points because of the skulls, but it's counterbalanced. Once this comes in too, they're going to get some more. This is 35. Yeah, there's probably going to be another avalanche here for Shishi. They might be able to catch up quite a bit. I think the stars are going to align for Eduardo in a moment though. I love you, Shishi. God, love you. She's. Th it's been so rough to her. She got nothing. Four points in five rounds. Don't do it, Eduardo. God, none of them fell in. Get one ball to make a difference. Please let this be it. Please. Please. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> There's nothing I could do. I, I, I just lost every time. You're a bad gambler. I don't think I'm as bad as Shishi. <laughs> Let's be real here. <laughs> Yo, Eduardo had two points. Five points. 39. Steven was doing well there too. He, he, got, he got a lot towards the end. Jesus. One Phil, thank you for 500 bits. As a Phil, I would like to say I have no relation to party Phil, and I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to distance ourselves from this Phil. He's given all the other Phils a bad name. Look at the mini game tab. Oh, there is other stuff here. There is one only for one player. We must take on 30 opponents in this challenging minigame mode. Oh, it's like a gauntlet, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, th these are just replay some of the minigames. These are replay some of the minigames that we've already done. Okay. Yeah, we, 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 we've been playing minigames all along. Yeah, it's it just kind of play some of them again. 
Here's one that's locked. I, I think we're gonna leave it there, gang. I think that's a good point to wrap up the stream. Um, but thank you so much, everyone, for coming on by. I hope you've enjoyed it. That was good fun. We'll check out some more Wii U games in the future. I'll probably try, like, the atrocious Mario Party next. It's a, it's a real mess of a game. Like, they try to make Mario Party as, like, just unfun as possible. That's how I would describe it. Mario Party 10 with chat controls Bowser. I, I can't remember exactly how Bowser controls in that game. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Uh, thank you as everything to mods for being on hand. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. Hope everyone enjoyed the new emotes too. Get, get some good mileage out of them. Uh, I don't know if there's like a general panic emote, but uh, this Thursday... Uh, it's gonna look a bit different. Uh, this Thursday will be the VTuber stream. Not April Fools. Which is the real fear. Yep, so if you haven't seen my Twitter, um... We, we have something we are going to be tested out on Thursday. It's gonna be good fun. What is the plan? You will see. You'll see quite a bit and so it begins Thursday is doomsday the anime got him we will be streaming on Thursday um, it's gonna be a bit different <laughs> but I think it's gonna be good fun be afraid be afraid is my advice. Just be afraid. We're going to be customizing the stream significantly as time goes on for this one. Disgust. Your Irish VTuber is going to finally be here. I don't think there are, like, really any Irish VTubers. I can't think of any off the top of my head. It might just be me holding down the fort now. Breaking new ground. We will be the first for Ireland. Where did it all go wrong? RT asks Jesus Christ in chat. <laughs> oh no. Okay, uh, let me see who's all still streaming. Let me see who's going. Uh, there's a good few folks streaming. Uh, Kelly's playing a fun game called King of the Castle. From what I understand, it's quite interactive. There's, like, factions and stuff like that. I know some people were hanging out and playing this, uh, just the other day. Where we did, like, the joint raid for, like, Kelly and Monty. So just go say hey. I've, I've, I've not played it myself. I'm not really familiar with the game. But it, it's apparently good fun. It's a very involved game. A lot of chat interaction. I will see you all Thursday for Judgment Day itself. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a good night.